Hello viewers, welcome back. So as part of our series of session on tally data management, today in this session, we will understand how we can set up the default folder for tally to recognize on startup for accessing your data. You can also set up a default folder for taking a backup and also whenever you are exporting any data from tally or you want to import tally's data into tally in that case you can also specify the default folder for export and import by default tally will create a data path folder when you install tally but if you want to have your own data path you can also specify the data path of your choice when you are installing Tally. Let us go to Tally and see how we can set up the default folder path for taking backup, your default data folder, and also for export and import. First time, while installing Tally, if you don't specify the path or the directory where you want the tally application files to be installed and also where you want the data file to be created for storing all the companies that are getting created in tally tally by default will install the application under this path that is c colon users subfolder public and next subfolder tally prime so the application files will be installed under the folder name of tally prime under these subfolder and also by default if you don't specify the data path tally is going to create the data folder under the subfolder of tally prime application folder now this becomes a bit difficult for you to remember the lengthy file path so you have an option in tally where even after installing tally application if you want to change the default data path as your own user defined data path you can create your own default data path in tally let us see how we can now change this default path to our own user defined data path very simple all you need to do is go to data click on data and here you have data path so when you click on data path you will observe that the company data path is what the default path which tally has selected so how do we change this now very simple all you need to do is make sure your cursor is there on company data path enter and now you can specify your data path if you have already created the folder using windows option in that case you can go to select from drive and select the folder that you have already created and if you have not already created you can now specify the path here click on specify and here you can create the data path of your choice let us say under d drive we want to create a folder called tally prime data enter and now if this folder does not exist tally will recognize and it will prompt this message asking you do you want to create this folder since this folder is not existing so all you need to do is just press y for yes or just press enter tally would have created the folder and you will now see the tally prime data path is created here so all you need to do is your cursor is already there in the new folder press enter and you will see here now the company data path is changed to d colon tally prime data you don't have to save this you can just press escape you will now notice that from the original data path now you have changed to your default data path now every time when you create a new company in tally tally will create the company under this newly created tally prime data folder let's quickly create a company 
so you go to create company let's say i say test company we will leave the rest of it as it is and i'm going to press control a the configuration also i'm going to press control a and now the company is created where the current period is there and also there are no vouchers we have just created this company let us go to windows file explorer and see whether the company is created under the newly created data folder under d drive we have our folder tally prime data double click and you will now see the newly created company is stored under the tally prime data folder you can also set up in the similar way company backup path so by default it would be c colon or d colon the steps to set up your user defined backup folder is the similar way that we created our company data path so all you need to do is click on the company backup path and again if you have the folder you can select the folder and if you have not created the folder you can go and specify the folder name and where you can say d colon backslash you can say tp tally prime backup so this is the folder enter if it does not exist you it will ask you to create all you need to do is just press enter now the newly defined backup folder is selected press enter and again you will notice that it is changed to the newly created backup folder every time now when you take a backup of tally data by default the backup will be copied into this newly created folder which is your user defined folder and now this becomes the default folder for taking backup also the top one will become the default folder for your data path so next time when you are opening tally by default tally will take you to this data folder and list out the companies that have been created under the folder so let's just quickly close tally and open tally you will notice the default data path is changed to our folder that we have created and it is listing the company which is test company just now we created under this folder tally also provides the facility for the user to set up their own user defined folder for export and import of tally data so in the similar way that we created the folder for default data path and backup folder path you can come to export here click on export and then come to configuration and you will see here the location for import export file has been specified as d colon export now press enter again and you have the option to select from the drive if you want to save the exported file in a different folder you can select the folder or if you want to create a new folder you can go here specify the folder in the similar way that we have created the folder earlier specify the name of the drive and the name of the folder and that would become the default folder for exporting of data and whenever you are importing tally data tally will recognize the folder and list out all the exported file of tally for you to import into tally we saw how easy and simple it is to set up the user defined folder for your default data backup import and export so you can make use of these simple configuration as required by your organization for ease in access or data management activities so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much